For these questions, we're going to classify triangles. So the directions say that we need to name each triangle by its sides and its angles. So let's look at how you would do that. So there are two ways you can classify triangles. You can think about them by their sides or you can think about them by their angles. And they all have different names. So let's learn the names of each type of triangles. So first we'll do sides. If a triangle has no sides that are the same length it's called a scalene triangle. I can remember that name when I think about the scales on a fish and I say there's no two scales that are the same. So a scalene triangle has no two sides that are the same. Another type of triangle is called an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle has two sides that are exactly the same length. I can remember in the word isosceles how it has these two S's it reminds me of same, same. These little tick marks sometimes go on triangles or other shapes to show you that the sides are the same length. So on the pink triangle right here, we see this mark here and this mark here. That shows us that since the marks are the same, the lengths of the sides are the same. So this pink triangle is an isosceles triangle because it has two sides that are the same length. And the last type of triangle is called an equilateral triangle. I can remember this because the word equal. In an equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal. In this purple triangle, we can see that they each have this line, and that shows that since they have the same mark, then the lines are the same length. So that's how you would classify a triangle by its sides. But you can also classify a triangle by its angles. So let's look and see how you would do that. So the first type is a right triangle. So if you look at a triangle and you see a right angle, and sometimes it will have this little square mark in the corner to show you that it's a right angle, if you see that, it's automatically a right triangle. So this is automatically a right triangle, and so is this. But sometimes there's not a right angle in the triangle. So another way to classify them is as an obtuse angle. So the next thing you wanna do is look for an obtuse angle. So you look at your shape and see if you can find an obtuse angle like this one right here. As soon as you find an obtuse angle, you know that's an obtuse triangle. So if you ever see an obtuse angle inside of a triangle, then it's an obtuse triangle. So the last kind is acute. So if you don't see a right angle and you don't see an obtuse angle, it must be an acute triangle. But the thing about acute triangles is that every angle inside of it must be acute. So if we look at the pink triangle, we can say that's acute because that's an acute angle, that's an acute angle, and that's an acute angle. But with acute angles, you don't wanna just look at a triangle and say, oh, there's an acute angle, so this must be an acute triangle. It doesn't work that way because for acutes, they all have to be acute. See how this is an obtuse angle right here? Well, if there's even just one obtuse angle, it becomes an obtuse triangle. And if there's even just one right angle, it becomes a right triangle. But if there's all three acute, it will become an acute triangle. So let's do some examples together. We have to name each triangle by its sides and its angles. Okay, so on number one, I see that it has two sides that are the same. I can tell because of the marks. Same, same, that reminds me of the word isosceles, and that's an isosceles triangle. We also need to label it by its angles, and since I see a right angle, it's a right triangle. So this is an isosceles triangle if we're judging by its sides, and it's a right triangle if we're judging by its angles. So let's do number two. I don't see any marks showing me that the links are the same. And if I got my ruler out, I would see that the links are not the same. So since none of the sides are the same, this is called a scalene. I always think of no scales are the same on a fish. So no sides on a scalene triangle are the same. So this is a scalene, but as I start to look at the angles, I see it has an obtuse angle. 
So since it has an obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle. So this could be classified as a scalene or as an obtuse. Okay, so on number three, again, I see no little mark showing that the sides are the same. So all three sides must be different. So this is a scalene triangle. It has a right angle, so it's also a right triangle. All right, and we'll do one more together. On number four, if I judge by its sides, I see that all three sides are the same. So that's gonna be an equilateral triangle but I need to judge by the angles now. So I see that's acute, that's acute, and that's acute. Since they're all acute angles, it's an acute triangle. All right, you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.